Graphs are a great way to tell stories visually, but they can also be used to mislead you. Look at this pie chart on candidate preferences for president. First obvious mistake, the numbers don't add up to 100. Why? People like multiple candidates, causing overlaps and pushing the total way past 100. But is the pie chart at fault? No, it simply shouldn't have been used here unless you had to choose only one candidate. Here's an interesting one, showing firearm murders in Florida. A new law was passed in 2005. Is it trying to suggest a steep drop in murders after 2005? Or is it trying to hide the fact that murders actually increased? It's hard to say about the intent here, but spot the zero. It's at the top and the graph is upside down. If you flip the graph, it settles any doubt. We see a steep rise in murders after 2005. Finally, here are a few rather amusing ones. Is that even a yes-no question? What do the black and blue parts even show? And here, 336 seems to be on a journey of its own. So, graphs can mislead us in various ways. Some tricks are obvious, while others are sneakily hidden.